It looks nothing like that in real life. This weekend I'm uh, doing a bit of scouting for the rut raw coming up. And I got something fun in, in mind. Why am I like this? I just went bush bashing, I'm soaking sweat, but I found what I was looking for. Um, if you see us behind me here, there's a really, really old bench cut, which will save some time, but it was a nightmare to get to, so this is where I'm going to camp. It's a little bit too close to where I wanted to be, but um, it's sort of done in a bowl, and if I follow this creek, I'll get to some, maybe a few hundred meters, I get some really good, what looks like good hunting spots. So, um, I spend the night here. Didn't catch any fish, saw one. But, matey here is watching, uh, watching after my glasses. <laughs> the main aim is to put some cameras up and um, just scouting the area in general, so. Fence crossing. And you can see that there's a green plant that's fallen over. So something obviously used this. Blackberry season started, so. I didn't bring any food with me. So, might as well top up. Just came across this, which is really hard to see. This looks like the tiniest wild raspberry. In that case, it's the first time. It tastes like raspberry. It's the first time I've seen them in Australia. Hmm. Delicious. I'm on the right track. Probably getting close close to 10, 10 o'clock. Um, I haven't found any obvious spots. I put one camera out um, and that's, I ran into some, um, some deer there once before. So I know they're there and you can sort of see they're using the area, but it's, uh, it's not obvious. It's been a bumpy crop this year with all the rain we had. Um, this is Hawthorn. It's not a import. Um, you can use the flowers, um, and then the berries when they ripen, you can do a Hawthorn jelly. And then, if you're lucky, later in the season, these are rose hips, and they'll go bright orange, and make the absolute best soup. Just make sure you go to a place where they don't spray it. For some silly reason, um, forestry have a <laughs> sort of a, a knack to start spraying when the berries are on rather than spraying them earlier. All right, so it's midday and I reached the last bit I wanted to check out and um, it's, it's not worth it. It's impenetrable, like thick, dense, prickly bushes, uh, no sign. So I'm going to skip that corner uh, and make my way back to camp. Anyone, anyone who know, anyone who hunts and and do a bit of scouting knows that when you check things on Google Maps and Google Earth, it looks nothing like that in real life. So last half an hour has been a absolute bush bash, head height dry, miserable, um, trying to find myself a, a short cut back to camp, but it doesn't look like there is one. Almost at camp, we should celebrate, make a coffee, have something to eat, and maybe catch a trout for dinner. So it's the middle of the day and it got clear blue sky, so it's got pretty hot. So I'm just uh, sitting down by the creek, trying to cool off a bit. And don't know if you can see it in the back. Got a coffee and got some lunch cooking. Just some rice and tuna. Might lose this fish, but um, I 
GoPro battery died and you can't believe I caught this size trout in a uh, not even knee deep creek freaking amazing just got just to the right there and I got him in here and he's a keeper I'll take a photo so I really wanted to get some footage of that fish because it was such a cool good fish mopping around and he's literally all the way in and I dropped him that's a problem trying to get footage check this I never learn right another little same little creek filming an iPhone so oh look at that brilliant rainbow all right see if I can take this one he is definitely a keeper so Got a couple of hours left of last light. I'm gonna go out with my bow and arrow again. Uh, wind is the wrong way, so I'm gonna go up the steep way, shortcut, uh, circle around, follow the creek, and hopefully, if everything goes well, I'm uh, back at camp at dark. It's seven o'clock. I've got about an hour, hour and a half of light left. Uh, it's been a pretty average walk, to be honest. Uh, it's dry, the wind shift, I haven't seen any sign. Not sold on this to be honest. Don't know if I should say today was successful or not. Fishing was good. I got both cameras out, which sort of was the, the point, but didn't find that many much, much sign to be honest. So sort of relying on this for the raw um, so it might not be a deer coming my way I'm uh, smoking slash cooking my trout on so there's coals hot coals underneath and I got fresh hawthorn on top just to keep the heat and keep the trout off the coals when I flip it, I put another layer on and then cook that aside. Doesn't look too bad. All right, good morning. It's Sunday and I'm gonna have a half day today. After yesterday's walk, I found so many good spots I wanted to fish. So I decided that today it's all about fishing. All right, so we're gonna walk up, find a few pockets to fish in. Uh, unfortunately, of all the things I forgot, I forgot my sunglasses. And for anyone who fly fish, you know what that means. First take, and way, and I actually saw him take it. Oh, so cool. All right, looks like he's one of the five if I land him. It's a bit of a hesitant take, to be honest. Sits nice in the corner. Hey, first one. He's a good one. Beautiful. I already caught one fish in here, but you see how there's foam line dragging on the left? Um, I bet you there's another one in there somewhere. It's a brute. It's bigger again. Just went past me. Oh, please don't tell me chase. I'm standing really awkward too. I'm gonna to walk back. Now, I know it's really deep here, so. Just so you guys know, he's pulling in towards the reeds and I'm up to my waist in water. He's a brute. I think he's a rainbow. 
you know that these they mean business when they're not jumping and making antics they just stay down there yep it's a rainbow took that pink beaded nymph again it's a beautiful rainbow Oh, just fit in this net. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jump up here. That is freaking awesome. Time is 11.30 and as I said, I'm gonna to try to make this a half day. So, getting, in a, getting five might be a little bit optimistic, but we'll see. Oh. Hey, 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 got it. Jesus. Was camera on? Camera was on. Oh, did you see that? On the freaking dry. All right. This is, no, he took the, he took the, the nymph again. All right. Oh, 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 oh. This is ridiculous, right? Um, I might let this guy go because I feel a little bit bad of taking three fish out of the same, the same pool. I'm taking two, not gonna be greedy. We'll see. He came in, oh, landed him. He's been here a while, it's nice and yellow. Oh. There you go. Sure he's okay, he did a couple of turns. But he comes up here just on the rock. Swimming fast by unknown means. It's gonna be fine. Woo! I'm gonna count that as three. Um, I love trout, I eat trout, I smoke trout, I bake trout. But this is a body of water that's 20 meters long. Uh, I've only taken two fish out of it. That's enough for me. Um, I think this is finished. I'm done. I'm going to move on to the next hole. Let's sketch. Take a couple of them out of the pool. All right. There you go. All right, guys, I said this before. Um, these red fin are too small for me to eat, but they are massive predators and every time I'm out and I know they're about I just grab them dispatch them and and that's about it on the dry all right it looks like a keeper too to be honest I don't feel bad so I can probably hook him in quick to be honest he looks he's in a good spot Oh no, some doesn't go to the... Oh, yes! Alright. What a take! Absolutely bonkers. I'm just standing here, about to start fishing. And I'm just in like in a little swamp bit, looking down at just just before the hole and there's oh, I wish you could see um, polarized filter is broken on my GoPro I, there is a one by one meter between just a good current but I'm not kidding you there is four trout sitting in that hollow four um, two probably two legal and two smaller ones so I'm just gonna have a cast uh, we'll see I'm gonna take it nice and easy and just cast past them a little bit. Oh, not ideal. Spooked them. Felt really shit casting before and I don't know why. It spun twice. That's a bit disappointing. Um, I had how hopes for that hole and I spent way too much time trying to catch one there. Uh, ended up catching about 10 redfin. Changed flies, changed depth, 
changed everything I could, and yet no fish. Obviously what you see when uh, you're not allowed to hunt, this is a massive wallow, and by the look of it, red deer. All right, we're back on the little creek. Um, got four, I need to catch one more, which should be doable. Um, the main thing for me, the potential for larger fish is a bit smaller. Could be my number five. Oh, come on. Number five it is. All right. All right. Here's a bit of a smaller one. It's well and truly legal, but Let this guy swim. All right, that was five fish, which was sort of my goal. I um, only kept three. Looks like I got another one. Oh, nice brown trout. Oh, rookie mistake. Took off the net. Ugh, got the net. Maybe a good keeper. Oh, yes. Got another one. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit of a little bit smaller one still good all right let's get him in quick there we go as you can see fishing is brilliant today so seven trout all up uh, kept four for the smoker uh, I'm just gonna keep fishing up one and he's going smack on I think he took I think he took the dry under yeah, he did. Hey. I'll let this guy go too. I was going to switch off and get him in the water. There we go. Might be able to do 10. 10 trout in a day would be a good day. I see two, three pieces of water. That's absolute brilliant. So I'm going to run the camera here. I got a little bit of battery left. So we're going to see if I can catch one in this. I'm going to start off nice and easy. Problem here is casting without spooking the fish. There we go. Got one. Told you there would be one in there. There you go. Unhooked himself, barbless hooks. All right, we'll keep, all right. Let's keep this rolling. There you go. And we'll see if we can catch another one in one take. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Huh? Fishing has been so good, but I'm a keen fisherman. By, by no means a good fisherman. All right, this looks too good. I'm gonna start casting from here.
We're gonna catch one. Oh, it's a massive red fin. Let's lift one up. I bit it. Didn't want to take it. Every time I see a red fin, if I can, I'll take one out of the out of the pool. So one take, one trout, one red fin. See if his mate wanna take up two. Oh I missed him. Alright, can't see them. Alright, let's back to this trout. Getting cocky, I actually thought it would be one in there. Obviously not. If you ever catch these small, just make sure they got a little bit of um, spine. So the easiest way is just to grab them over the head as well. They got some spines on the gills. They're not poisonous, they sting a bit. Probably similar to um, flathead if you're saltwater fishing. All right. Oh no, I lost him. Oh, you saw hope saw that. I had a good trout on. Oh. All right, I'm gonna shut it. I got tangled, but worth trying. There we go! Got him! <laughs> Alright, he's keeper, he's a keeper. He is massive for this water. And he took the dry. Oh, he's trying to get tangled. Oh! oh. Alright, I'm running downstream with him. Please don't lose him. This is that'd be my that'd be my fifth for sure. He's chunky too. I don't know if that's the same as took it before. Oh, he is a tank. <laughs> All right, here he is. Absolute of a tank. I uh, just measured him up, and he is. Uh, on par with my rainbow, so the biggest brown trout of today, my number five, perfect. Um, I'm going to make myself walking back to camp, I'm almost there, but to get him out in this little water and to hook up several fish after each other is amazing. Such a good day.
Oh, so everything is put and take from now on. It's a brilliant little current just here. And uh, it would actually surprise me if there's not a fish in it. Under the firm. I'm gonna see if I can catch him in quick. I can put a bit more pressure on now. He's a brute too. Oh, he's a stonker. All right, I'm gonna get this hook out. Oh, he's hooked pretty. There we go. He let himself out. If you don't fish and you wonder what I'm doing, it's just holding him upright so don't get thrashed around in the current. You can see his gills are moving. Same as human, he's just done a sprint. Need fresh, get some oxygen, get some carbon dioxide out. When he's ready, he'll swim away for sure. There we go. There we go, matey. Ugh. Man, that's probably the biggest trout I let go. I can't believe my luck today. It's, um, it's been an absolute crazy day of fishing. For anyone who's wondering, um, it's just like a pink beaded little nymph and some form of stimulator. I haven't died in this one. It's, I just cut away the rubber legs. Um, not a huge fan of rubber doodackies on, um, on flies. In the smallest little waters, it's the biggest traps. Um, I'm gonna finish up today. Finishing is done. I'm just gonna walk back. So I'm gonna have some water. I'm gonna eat some blackberries. There's plenty of them around. Uh, before I go and climb the hill behind us. I don't know how well this is gonna show on camera, but basically this is about a 45 degree bush bash story. And it will take me probably 40 minutes to get camp. Uh, then I'm gonna pack out and I walk out of here. So probably won't film. Um, it's so hard editing out all the swear words as I'm climbing up. I'm all packed up, ready to go. It's four o'clock, which is a little bit later than I wanted to, but uh, I'm gonna walk up to the car and I don't know how long it's gonna take because I'm gonna try to find a new route in. But anyway, got my big pack on. Uh, I'm gonna carry my fish, my net, and my bow and arrows in my hand. So we'll, we'll see, uh, see how that goes. After this weekend with walking up and down these hills every day, my legs are cooked. This is what I meant. So you can see there's trees and everything around and obviously hasn't been used for many, many years. But once upon a time, someone has made a a bench cut road here. This was the section I found by mistake crawling on my hands and knees through the bush. Refreshment. This is elderberry. Uh, it's okay eating. 
but much prefer the flowers. Stands, hopefully I can get through. So, so I found a reason why there hasn't been maintained. There was a bit of a landslide in the middle and it was like an absolute mess, but on foot you can squeeze past on a bit of an angle and it was like ages ago so you can't tell so it's ground was safe uh, and now it looks all right again just laying down for a little bit oh, it's a bench cut but it's like every 10 meters there's a tree to climb and it's like waist high undergrowth as well Oh, imagine if it just stops in a dead end and I can't get through. I'd so not feel like hauling down and back up again. I'm absolute knackered. Um, had a bunch of water, some fruit, and I don't know if that walk is better or worse. It's, mo it's definitely more direct, but at the same time, it's actually brutally steep. So, we'll see. Anyway, a uh, good week in a way. Once again, fishing was better than hunting. And we'll see where the raw comes. I have two cameras out, so I need to go and pick those up. Um, didn't see a lot of sign actually. But hey, we'll see. Now, I gotta hurry back to Sydney.